Hi everyone, this is Esther Hamel from IslamicIllumination.com and every March, this is my third March doing this, I do a golden flower challenge and this challenge just means that I'm going to paint one flower every day for 14 days and you can just join me for free. I have the flower templates all on the blog post linked with this video and you can just join in whatever day you want, you don't have to do the 14 days. However you want to do it, just the whole purpose of this is to just practice painting, to continuously do it and to fine tune our outlining and all the skills that you need for illumination. If you'd like more information about the art of illumination, what it is, like how you start, how you paint, um, all the information is provided in my online course. And if you want to stay updated uh, and like get notified when I'm traveling for workshops, or to know what I'm up to, you can join my newsletter. The flowers that I have chosen for this challenge, I saw them in person in the Victorian Albert Museum here in London, and I took close-up images and I printed it for you, just because they don't have copyrights, and it's really interesting to do similar styles that come from the art of the book and the miniature itself. And I first start with tracing. Make sure that you are tracing with a sharp pencil. Always sharpen your pencils. I also have my paper ready and prepared. There is a free video to tell you about how I prepare this paper. You can do it the same way or just use whatever paper that you like. It's not a practice about the paper, it's mostly about the painting itself. I prefer hot press just because it's smoother and it's better for my outlines. But again, um, you have creative control, so do whatever you enjoy most. So let's get started. And now we can start painting it. And I start painting it with um, real gold. This is my green gold. and. Um, it's 18 carats with a little bit of copper to give it this green gold, but if you don't have access to this gold Then you can use the Winsor Newton gouache gold or whatever other brand of gold I quite like this one. It gives me like a nice coppery gold as well and how to make this gold you can either check out my free tutorial or check out the new method that um, I did in my online course so Let's get painting. Now that the gold is dry, I'm going to burnish it to make it shiny. So far, it's not shiny. right away I'm first going to outline it with black ink and then move on to shading after everything dries. This is the black ink that I use it's the Winter and Newton ink and before I start I dip the ink and I always do a line or two to get rid of the excess ink and then start outlining. to shade my flower but before I shade it I need to actually come up with the colors and I'm going to use um, a purple the violet gouache um, you can use watercolor in this stage or the gouache I'm gonna use a very light gouache and I need to prepare two shades of this color and I'm gonna add white to that And still, I'm only taking a tiny bit. Like the tiniest bit of paint can be enough. 
And that's my first shade. I'll use the same. And then add two little bits of the white. So you see how I'm trying to have two shades of the same color. This is the light one, this is the medium one, and for the third one, I'm just going to use the true color. Let's start with the lighter shade. We're applying the first layer of color. We are getting it very close to the edge, but not exactly up to the edge. Like you can cover it completely, you can cover the white completely, but I like it to show a little bit and traditionally they do let it show in some examples. I hope you enjoyed how I painted the flower and I look forward to seeing all your golden and painted flowers. Just make sure that you use the hashtags and all the information provided below. See you in the next video.